wall cleaning of my closets. Um, I have uh, a pretty organized routine with my clothes. And you know, living in New York City in a smallish apartment, you don't have a lot of room to store your belongings. As I was cleaning, I suddenly realized that uh, this summer, literally, even though all my, my current uh, summer and spring collection was hanging on the, uh, in my closets, I didn't really wear half of it. And uh, I ended up actually feeling like um, I really should either toss or donate good half of my summer clothes. I don't know why this happened. Somehow this summer I was just wearing the same stuff again and again and again. And it's not just because, you know, my circumstances were like this. You know, my son was out of school. I was, I had a family over. I didn't really have a lot of fancy occasions to go to, but I kind of think maybe also my sense of style has drifted in some direction in a way. and. Uh, I literally don't think I wanted um, the items that I didn't wear. It's not like I didn't have a chance to wear them. I literally didn't want them. There is always temptation to acquire new things when it comes to clothing or accessories on impulse. And uh, uh, I do that occasionally and I always try to brainwash myself to resist that. I feel that it's a much wiser situation to come up with a style strategy and to plan your style before even starting to fantasize about buying something because then if you have a very clean cut idea of who you are in terms of your self-portrayal, self-expression through clothes and accessories, then you will be less tempted by pretty things that are unlikely to become part of your uh, you know, clothing self-presentation. Uh, I feel that it is really important because it does contribute to your clarity of self-image. Um, and I feel that there are a lot of things in our everyday life, in our routine, that are that important. You know, if you have that clarity of self-image of how you represent yourself, you know, this is in a way who you are. It affects my productivity. I have a fairly good uh, routine organized at home. Uh, I work from home, so I cannot cut any slack to myself. If I want to be truly productive, I'm up in the morning, I'm well-dressed, I'm wearing my makeup, I'm at my desk. It doesn't matter that I'm at home. I'm not late to work, you know? And uh, I cannot be spending time going through my clothes, choosing this or that, roaming around in, uh, uh, in my nighty or whatnot. This doesn't happen to me because I need to have that, you know, elevated feeling of being uh, productive and uh, elegant and uh, right on there and working. Uh, I cannot get to my desk and start working if I have a sink full of dirty dishes. You know, I know it's not everybody's situation, but because I work from home, this is my situation. And I know that maybe in some aspects, yeah, like I can't work if my bed is not made, okay? <laughs> if anyone had seen my apartment like today, you wouldn't believe it, but I hate clutter. I hate clutter. It's visual noise and it completely distracts me from getting anything done. Not that I go to clean it, it just distracts me and I don't get anything done. Uh, clothing in particular, Clothing is like the worst because it's when you have too much and it's cluttered, it's like you can't see the forest for the trees. I don't, and I have, I have a fair amount of space. I have a one bedroom apartment, but I personally think it's more than ample for my needs. When you have too much clothing and it's unorganized, it's like you don't see half of it. You see about 50% of what you have because you can't find the rest of it. As much as I love my bedroom, it's a little bit dark and I have a nice closet, but it's really dark in the closet. And I would find myself wearing the same, gosh, you know, 10 outfits to work over and over and over again because they're what's convenient. They're kind of what comes to the top of the pile. And it's not great, you know, it's not great. First of all, excess, as I think, particularly in our culture, we do have this culture of excess, of just accumulating a lot more than you really need at any given time. And, um, you need to go through and curate that and edit it. Edit it way, way, way down. Particularly clothing, because it's true, how you're dressed, it, it says a lot about you to other people, but it really, it can be an instant boost 
to your spirits to be wearing something that you like, that you feel good in. Either you feel like it looks well on you, uh, or it's very comfortable, or it's very warm, whatever it is, that, that you take pleasure in wearing it. Well, why can't all our clothes be like that? I mean, why don't we curate this and get it down to a collection of clothing that, that all makes you happy, that you enjoy wearing, that's becoming to you, but that you just enjoy it? Yeah. And I, I think that's really a great goal. It's a hard goal. I mean, I don't know if anyone ever truly achieves just a complete wardrobe that you Maybe love. The yeah, that might be the way I feel thinking. But you know, it's kind of what I've been working towards, and particularly lately, because in the morning, work for the schools, we have early hours. I got a dark room with a dark closet, and I actually have a flashlight to sometimes look in that closet. I need to go. I need to get ready and go and get out the door. Mm -hmm. And. Um, one solution that I actually came up with is I pick 10 outfits at a time. I pick the tops and I have them all ready so that every two weeks I kind of know what I'm going to wear. And I had actually read this as a tip to make the most of what clothing you already have rather than buying more stuff. And I actually don't like to shop very much. Um, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not fond of shopping. And what then happens is I run... Heresy. Heresy. <laughs> no. I run out of things. So important things like pants. I'm not responsible for their opinions. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I, I run out of work pants all the time because I don't like shopping and I particularly hate shopping for pants because you have to try them on and I detest, as you know, you have to try I hate, I know, I hate trying things on. I just hate it. But at any rate, uh, in terms of the clutter, editing, ruthless editing, um, and it's hard because it's time consuming. It's really time consuming. I know there's that popular book out now, uh, this Japanese, the art of tidying up, and I've not read the book. I've, I've read, you know, articles about the book, and it seems like one of her themes is, you know, you gather all like all your clothing and everything together, and you're going to go through it. And, and one of the ideas is, does this item give you a spark of joy? And if it doesn't spark joy in you, it's got to go. And that one little tidbit of information, just I only acquired it maybe two months ago. I have found it so so helpful. So helpful because a, a flaw of mine as I'm trying to decrease clutter and decrease clothing is keeping things that still have useful life in them. That okay, well I don't hate it. It doesn't look bad on me. It's not too worn out or stained or ripped, and all that stuff has to go. And sometimes I'm bad about that too. But so it's still useful. But I don't love. It doesn't give me any spark of joy. But it's very very utilitarian, and that has been a hard lesson for me to to get away from that, that okay, it has use, it's gonna go straight to Goodwill and somebody else can use it. Because if I'm not loving it, it's just in here. It's taking up space and it's, it, it just weighs on you. Clutter just weighs on you. It's, it's stressful in a way, having it all on top of you. So one of my big ongoing problems was my shoes. Uh, I would put them very carefully in order. I would buy those little shoe rack things that you stick them on with the two or three levels. Nothing worked. Ultimately, maybe three, four weeks, five weeks down the road, I've got a mountain of shoes. They just get thrown into a pile. And I'm constantly putting shoes away. And I get very, very frustrated by this. And you know, you feel dissatisfied that you're not resolving it, but you don't quit, you just keep trying. And ultimately what I did was a very simple renovation of my closet space. And I have one of those kind of wide closets with those uh, sliding doors. And there's like a pocket space beyond where the door goes, which gets very dark in there, but nevertheless, it's fairly deep. So I had double hanging rods put in to give me extra hanging space, and one of these pocket areas I fitted with floor to ceiling shelves, and I got bins, fabric bins. And this is kind of, I, in college, helped out at a theater shop, the theater, uh, the theater shop on campus where we would make uh, costumes for productions, mm -hmm. and I kind of had the idea from them of how we would store things there, you just throw it all in the bin. So like all the black shoes go in one bin and all the beige shoes go in another bin. And I thought, I'm gonna try this. And it worked remarkably well. Totally resolved the mountain of shoes on the floor by putting them in my bins. First, of course, had to cull the collection down because it was a ton of shoes. It was a, it was a lot of shoes, comparatively speaking. And then sort them out into like items, like these are the shoes I'm likely to wear to work, and these are my summer sandals. You know, get a realistic organization. But even then, if I'm in a terrible hurry in the morning and it's dark, I could grab the bin that had all the work shoes in it, pull out the pair I want, run out the door, go to work, come back, back in the bin, back in the closet. I've got no mess. So it, it took a couple of attempts, but I have been extremely happy 
with the shoe solution. Um, boots wouldn't fit in the, in, the, in the fabric containers on the shelf, so I got a huge plastic storage tub. The boots live on the floor of the closet in the plastic storage tub. Boot problem gets resolved. Uh, That's just amazing. It's very helpful. As I came up with the storage idea, another policy that I've tried to implement is if I buy a pair of shoes, another pair has to go out. You know, shoes take up space, so I haven't been 100% successful with that, but I've really oh, tried. A pair of shoes comes in, a, a pair of shoes should go out. It doesn't, it doesn't always work, but it's helpful to think of it that way, because part of my storage ideas and the clutter and the anti-clutter of clothing is it's all got to fit. I made this much space for it, whatever I have, it needs to fit in that space. If everything doesn't fit, then something's got to go. Because you know, how much do we need? And you really, I want it all displayed where I can find it, see it, get my hands on it. Otherwise, it's just going to languish. Just going to languish in the back of the closet. Now, everything was going very, very well until, you know, just recently, I have a new, a new problem now, pole dance shoes. <laughs> Now I have an issue because I don't have the space for those shoes. So now the pole dancing shoes, that still needs resolution. They exceed the amount of shoe storage space that I had allotted and they are, they're so big, they don't really fit very well. So that, that's what I'm working on right now is the pole dance shoe storage.